Hi there. Thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail and being interested in my work. In this video I'll be taking a look at how I do the outline in the freehand method. We'll be taking a closer look here and there with real-time footage so be sure to watch it through to the end and especially where we have to add that second eye which is always an awkward thing to do. So let's dive in and take a look. First thing to do is to find the centre mark of your image and the centre mark of your paper and mark that in. Now it can be very daunting when you first start because a big black sheet of paper but starting from there just work out the line of the mouth, the nose and the eyes and then a vertical lines along the nose and the centre of the mouth and the chin, getting that in and then try using big lines and shapes to get the shape of the face on the on the paper try and get the hairline in there loosely and it's all a matter of just getting a feel for it just really open your heart just focus on how it feels but working from that center mark is really important it's really important just to let go and be positive because you it, the first thing that really is very daunting is that it's where to start. So what I tend to do is find an area of the portrait that stands out. Now with this portrait of Jessica Alba, it was a nose and a mouth area. So I, that's why I focused on drawing that correctly first. So getting the shapes cr correct, measuring the width against the height, getting that area right first and then move on to other areas using that as the measurement point. So I'm using the uh, rubber here as well, the um, putty rubber to mould the shape in. So really great tool that is, so you can just keep rubbing it out and just using your pencil very lightly until it feels correct. And then using the pencil at horizontal and vertical, comparing at how it lies compared to the actual image. And, and what you're doing here is just comparing the width with the height. So it's just a matter of keep measuring these things on the image and comparing width against height on certain areas and then doing exactly the same thing on your drawing. And it's and you you get that you get a feel for it then. I've not put the eyes in at this point yet because I need to make sure that everything is correct on the mouth, nose, chin and cheeks area. So now I'm going over it again and tightening up the details and making sure everything's in the correct position before I start to try and do the eyes. Now, when I'm doing the teeth, you just put it in lightly to start with, using the pencil vertical, checking the alignment to the teeth, and then just putting it in lightly and then just keep working with it and getting a feel for it. It's just a matter of just going for it really and not being frightened. Just um, don't, don't worry if it's in the wrong position, you can rub it out. If you feel like you're getting value from this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free. Then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. Now, when we start drawing the eyes in, it can be quite stressful when you first start to draw, you know, because you make a big deal of it really to be fair so the best thing to do when you first start to draw the eyes in like any other part of the face don't name it as an eye just keep look at it as shapes just shapes and lines and then once you've got the shapes and lines in then you can put the feelings of the eye in there 
Now I've slowed this part right down to real time because this is the most difficult part of a portrait when you're doing the free hand method. Because trying to get that second eye in can be quite stressful. So the best thing to do is to keep relaxed. Like I say, don't see it as an eye, see it as a shape, lines and shape. Just keep measuring. You see, I'm doing the thumb and the tip of the pencil there, comparing that with the image and doing the same on your paper. And then you're using your pencil horizontally and vertical to keep everything aligned. Now here we're just putting very basic lines in first, very, very lightly using a HP again. Again, making sure that alignment is correct. The best approach to this as well is not to have tunnel vision and just focus totally on that eye as you're drawing it because you'll lose whereabouts it is within the drawing. That's why it's really difficult to draw this last eye in especially if you have a tendency to really focus on one point at a time and get tunnel vision. That's why you have to open the sight and see everything while you're drawing. So, you work, so you're open to awareness and you're aware of the nose, the mouth and the other eye at the same time as drawing this eye in. You have to experience it to know what I mean, but it's just a sense of you, feels correct because you can sense it's in the right place because you've got the awareness of the whole. That's why I love the freehand method because you really connect into the energy and soul of the person as you're drawing. Even these basic lines you can actually feel the personality with one just, just one line. But you see when you draw with a grid you just comparing it with the with the square and then you lose the essence of the whole thing that's why I recommend really the freehand method if you haven't seen my video of three ways how to draw the outline I give a detailed approach to three different ways the grid method the freehand method and the cross reference method I will leave a link in the description below. It's worth checking that one out really actually and uh, because I give an idea that each method will eventually make you a freestyle or freehand artist. So be sure to check that one out. Now I play close attention to the height of the forehead, making sure that that is correct. If you don't get the hairline right and the shape of the head right, it will throw everything out. It's so important to get this correct. Um, so, you know, there's a tendency to think there's something wrong with the picture and it might not be anything you've done with the eyes, nose and mouth, it would be the hair. It's surprising how many times that can happen. So it's really important to make sure you spend quite a bit of time getting the hairline right and the size correct. And again, just measuring, same as what you've done before, and just doing things lightly to start with. And then once you've got everything you feel is in the right place, then you're going over them with the heavier marks, uh, getting the detail in. You tighten up the areas. I'd recommend as well open up the site so you're seeing the whole of the image again. So you're seeing the eyes, nose and mouth at the same time as drawing the hair. You're sensing the whole thing. There is a connection that creates a different energy about it. So if you focus and have a tunnel vision on the hair it will feel separate to the face everything has to feel there's a connection with it um, you have to sort of experience that to know what I'm talking about but it is something to be aware of just 
Just to mention a few points again, what I've covered, um, just keep your awareness open. You know, open up to seeing the whole thing as you draw in. It'll make it feel more alive and more loose and less tight and separate. So always sensing everything while you're drawing. And that is done, you achieve, that is achieved by letting go of the mind. Okay, so letting go of the mind is chatter, because the mind will want, want to try and control the drawing. Let go, focus on the heart, just let it happen. The more you open up, the more it'll just flow. Right, so it's just doing a few final checks now. So just taking your time and sensing again everything, just making sure the feel feels right. Now you can check the alignment from the corner of the eye to the nostril and where it lies on the with the teeth, and then do it both sides. So you're doing angles to see where the corner of the eye, side of the nose, and where that lies on the teeth and then just check in all these different areas. Here's a view of the drawing at the correct angle. Thank you so much for watching the video right through to the end. I've added a couple of links here which are related to the video you've just watched and also in that circle there if you tap that you can subscribe it's absolutely free so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, if there's any videos you would like me to produce, please let me know in the comments below. And also let me know how you feel about it. And, you know, give me some feedback, that'd be great. And give it a thumbs up if you've got value from it. Thank you so much. Take care and be well.